If you're thinking of moving to the Atlanta metro area, you need to keep watching. Because in this video, I'm going to tell you the first five things you need to do and why when considering moving to Atlanta, Georgia to make things go as smoothly as possible. And I will tell you right now, going to see the inside of a home is not one of the first things you ever need to do. Welcome to Living in Coweta. My name is Ben and I am your licensed local real estate expert. Let's get into it. Step one may sound silly to some, but it is the most crucial step and can determine whether you get a home you're happy with or a home you just settle for. And that is to hire a licensed real estate agent. But never hire just any agent. You need to hire the right agent that can help you create a workable plan. And here are some serious criteria you need to consider. First, they need to be a realtor. And the reason for that is because realtors have access to their local MLS and can get easy access to a home listed for sale. Next, you need to hire an agent that is full-time and experienced. Hiring an agent that does only a few sales a year can hurt you in several ways. Agents with only one or two sales can't be great at negotiating without doing it often, and you don't want an agent that is more desperate to take a sale and earn your commission than look out for you. In fact, if you ever meet an agent that tries to put you in a home that is not the right home, Give that agent an Altoid and tell them you can smell their commission breath. Hiring a part-time agent working in another job that can't accommodate your schedule to see homes will not serve your best interest either. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. Hiring someone like me, you'll get everything you need and more. I am a full-time realtor that is one of the top producing agents in my area. I have great relationships with five-star rated lenders to get you pre-approved if you need a loan. I have showing partners for when you need to get into a home right now, and I have to be on another appointment. I have expert knowledge on the Atlanta area, and I will use my master negotiation skills to get your offer accepted. I have top quality home inspectors on speed dial for when you do go under contract, relationships with closing attorneys, and a transaction coordinator to help ensure everyone is on track to get you to the closing table for your new home. Next. If you're not paying cash for your next home, you need to speak with a lender early in the process and get pre-approved. Not pre-qualified, pre-approved. No matter your credit score, good or bad, this is huge. Speaking with a lender will not only help you know how much you're approved for, but also to find out your monthly payments. We need a sustainable workable plan to get your dream home. But only being able to afford ramen and beanie weenies every meal is not a way to live. Once you apply and go through the pre-approval application process, a lender will also be able to tell you how much you need for your down payment and closing costs as well. And picking the right lender is just as important as picking the right real estate agent. You want a lender that is there to work for you and knows how to get things done. A lender can make or break a deal for you. When you write an offer here in Georgia, you have to give a due date for the home appraisal and a due date for the lender to go through their process. If the lender isn't on top of things, appraisal deadlines can be missed, or you could be denied a loan too late in the process, and you can lose thousands of dollars. And worst of all, you're just sitting there watching on the sidelines because it's all out of your control. You can give yourself more control by hiring the right lender. And when you reach out to me, I will give you my list of top choices that I know will get you from where you are to where you wanna be. Okay. Now that you have your agent and your budget, now you can sit down and figure out your needs, your wants, and your deal breakers. Needs are things that you absolutely have to have and can be things like homes with no steps, an owner suite on the main level, or an in-law suite with a shower instead of a tub. As for wants, don't mistake a want for a need. A want can be compromised. Do you really need a fourth bedroom or can you actually be happy with a third bedroom and an office space? Does the house have to have a fenced backyard or pool? Or if it checks every box other than that, can you just put in a fence or a pool after you buy? Or do you really need an acre of land or is that you just don't want to be right on top of your neighbor and really just a few trees and a little bit of privacy on a third or a half acre lot is all you really need. And as for deal breakers, these can be wants or needs, but they are things you absolutely cannot compromise on for one reason or another. 
Some examples would be you have a large work truck you need to drive home, and that means either no HOA or an HOA that would allow it. Maybe you wanna have a walk-in closet, and that's a want you're not willing to compromise on. Or maybe you host the big family Thanksgiving dinner every year, and then a home without a dining room may be that deal breaker. Whatever your needs, wants, and deal breakers are, make sure you take this step seriously and make sure you include everyone that plans on living in the home to take part in this process. If you have a significant other that will be there, you absolutely need to make sure that both of your needs are met and you find out what each of you are willing to compromise on. And if you're moving with kids, sometimes it can be tough on them making a move. Hearing some of their needs and wants could get them from being anxious to excited about a new home. Okay, you are finally ready for step four. Now that you know your budget and what the home has to have, it's time for you to talk with your agent, which should be me, about what areas might be the best fit for you and your situation. Now as an agent, there's certain things I can and can't guide you on as that is considered steering, but let's say you work at the airport and you're willing to drive up to 45 minutes for work, but you need to have at least a five bedroom home and your budget is $650,000. Well, then you'll be looking in a completely different location as someone with the same budget, but they just retired and just want to get closer to the grandkids, but still want some acreage and have a mini farm and raise some chickens. This is where picking a good agent will again prove its worth. I have you do the step of finding your area after you come up with your needs and wants for a very specific reason. It's all part of creating a workable plan. For example, you tell me you want a move-in ready home with three bedrooms and two baths and your budget is $250,000, but you also tell me you want to be in the Arbor Springs community where the median price for a home is almost $900,000. Well, you've already set yourself up for failure and any agent that says otherwise is not working for you. Instead, let's collaborate together. Give me an idea of where you'd like to be and let's build off that. You tell me you want a three bedroom, two bath home that is move-in ready within 30 miles of your job in downtown Atlanta. You give me your list of needs and compromises and you tell me your budget is $250,000. Then I can help create a workable plan for you. Step five has two parts. You finally have a workable plan in place and you're ready to go see homes. But that's not all you need to be doing. You need to save, save, save your money and do not open any new lines of credit or go making any big purchases. There are certain expenses with buying a home that include, if you're getting a loan, money for a down payment, closing costs, appraisal, and a home inspection. If you're paying cash, you need the money for the home closing costs and inspection still. I always recommend an inspection on a resale home. I've seen some crazy things pop up on home inspections, not all the time, but every now and then, and it would have been a really bad situation if my clients hadn't paid for a quality home inspection to catch it. And opening up a new line of credit after you go under contract can be tempting because all you can think about is that new couch or bed you saw that you want in your new home. Wait until you close on your house because your lender will run your credit several times to make sure no changes are happening and they may even run it one last time where you're at the closing table. What's more important, that new couch or that new home? As for the fun part of step five, that's going to go look at homes. Now, when it comes to looking at homes, there are a few things that I've learned over the years. Nine out of 10 times, if there's only one photo of the house online and it's of the outside, I compare it to going to a fancy restaurant when they don't have prices on the menu. You probably wouldn't order any food off the menu if you sell the price, and you probably wouldn't want to see the house if they showed you the inside. And before you go see a home, let's discuss if it at least meets your needs and deal breakers. If it does, give it a score from one to 10. There's never such thing as a perfect 10. There may be 9.9s, but never a perfect 10. But you don't need to waste your time and gas on a home that is not a seven or higher. If it's a six with the photos online, it won't be a seven in person. A listing agent's job is to make sure the listing is marketable. So they try to ensure the photos are catching every room's good side. All right, so let's recap. Step one, hire a full-time agent. Step two, get pre-approved. Step three, 
Determine your needs, wants, and deal breakers. Step four, find your area. Step five, save as much as you can and finally start looking at homes. And that's it. In that exact order are my first five steps to buying a home. So are you ready to consider making a move here to the Atlanta area? I'll be happy to get you from where you are to where you want to be. My contact information is below and in the description, so reach out anytime. I will be coming out with new videos every week and I'll be diving into Atlanta metro communities along with more videos like this to help guide you on your home buying process. So be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit that like button too. And also if you're interested in seeing videos of certain metro Atlanta areas or have any questions in the home buying process, comment below. All right, that's it for this video, everyone. See you next week.